Hey guys, so I'm back with a three month update on my Damon Clear braces. Okay, so it's been three months. I've had two tightenings so far and everything's going okay, I guess. Um, things that have changed with my teeth, um, these two teeth right here has been pulled down tremendously. So when I first got the braces on, this wire went dent, eh, eh, eh. so it was really crooked and there was a big hump. So as you see, it's straight now. So these teeth got pulled down. And that's why my mouth gets caught on them a lot because, yeah, it wasn't, they used to be up more and now they're down. So that's a little getting used to. And another change that I absolutely hate is, which they warned me about, they said sometimes they will have to make gaps bigger in order to fix your teeth so I got huge gaps on the side I already had little ones but now they're huge and I'm just like really self-conscious of them because they look so it looks like I'm missing an entire tooth right here like and for the longest when I've been taking pictures and smiling I haven't liked them and I've been thinking like why does it look so what is off about my mouth and then it hit me I looked at a before picture and this huge gap on the side. So I was really like disappointed and I'm hope it closes up fast because I hate them. Anyways, so my first tightening, I went in and they put two different, I actually didn't know how it worked until I went into the first appointment to get them tightened. They changed my wires and with each appointment the wires get sturdier. And the wires are shaped like in the shape of how a perfect mouth would be and how they want your teeth to be in the end. So they put a perfect shape on your mouth and the wire naturally wants to go back to that position. So if my teeth are crooked or gapped, it looks like that. And it's slowly like trying to go back to its regular position. So that's how they work by forcing your teeth to go in that perfect <laughs> the perfect shape that they want. So they put in sturdier wires up top and bottom for my first um, for my first tightening, which was, when was that? When was that? I don't know, it was like a month ago. It was like a month and a half ago. And I was really late for it. I had to push, I kept having to push it back. I went on vacation, I went to Vegas. Then I had, um, I had something else, but it got pushed back like three weeks and I was so disappointed and that's what people say. They always say like, make sure you keep up with your appointments because you can get off track really fast if you missed a bunch of appointments. But I made my last appointment, which was last week and that was my second tightening, but they actually didn't change the wire on my bottom row. They kept the same one in and they changed the one on the top. And I'm thinking that they didn't change the one on the bottom because I had two teeth that needed to be turned. Like this tooth needs to be turned like so much. And this tooth needs to be turned so much. So they're trying to like get that turned before they move on. So they can't they don't want to rush the bottom. This is my this is my guess. They don't want to rush the bottom if the top's not like on track. So they kept the bottom regular wire and then they put ch power chains on these teeth, you can't really see them, to try to rotate those teeth forward to the position that they're supposed to be in. And that really hurt. And you know what I found surprising? I really do not like the tightening appointments. They hurt because my teeth are never fully like okay. And they're always a little tender. And when I go in there, man, and since they're Damon Clear braces, it means that these are little doors and they open the doors and then they have to push the wire into those doors and they man when I tell you like they say oh you might feel a little pressure no it feels like she's pushing gonna my teeth are gonna break and it hurts so bad and I'm still like oh my god when is this gonna stop and they push as hard as they can to put the wire in that little space and then close it I really hate it like I don't even know if the pain is from the tight them getting like closer or is it from the orthodontist like pushing with all their might on my teeth I don't know but I have seen a difference it hasn't been that much so far but it's only been like three months I got them in April it is August now so my mom said don't you don't count the first month so I was like, okay fine May June July so three months 
Um, these teeth are down. I'm waiting for this gap to close. Um, these two teeth and these two teeth came together. I don't know why the middle one hasn't come together yet, but that's still something to see teeth come to coming together. And my bite is so off right now. It's really, like really annoying. I don't know. But oh, also, I think I'm realizing like my bottom and top teeth never aligned like middle to middle. And I think it's a little better right now. Like I think it was more off center than it is right now. I don't know. So yeah, like I said, it's August something. It's the beginning of August. And my next appointment now is September 6th. So I have about a month to go until my next appointment. And hopefully those teeth have rotated by then. So they can move on and give me a tighter wire on top. And start bringing my teeth together. So yeah. So I guess I'll be back for, I'll say like a six month update. And see where I'm at then. Hopefully it's amazing. So talk to you guys later.